Welcome to SA Militarium. Today we will be talking about the Nutrium, aka Brown's uniform. We will go over its features, service history and more. They were worn by the South African Defence Force, SADF, now the South African National Defence Force, SANDF, with them being the standard issue uniform for the South African border war. They were introduced in 1971, designed for the SADF through the late 60s in an effort to move away from the outdated British uniforms used since before World War II. However, throughout this, the Browns did not stay the same. The Bosut or Bush hat, in English, Bosut being an Afrikaans word, were used widely in the field and were very popular amongst soldiers, along with the beret, both favoured for the comfort and low weight. Unlike the heavy M63, also known as the Staldak, and M87 helmets. The Bosuda featured metal push buttons on the brim and sides of the hat, often blue, on examples produced after 1985. Soldiers, however, did not button up the sides of their boss suits in the field or in training, unless they wanted PT. A producer label was usually present on the inside, and soldiers often wrote their names and force numbers alongside it, such as in our example. This boss bikey has angular pockets, where later bikies had square pockets. The jacket had four pockets and a section through the waist through which you could put a string through to tighten the jacket around your waist. This jacket has the earlier type stitching on the cuffs and pockets. This particular example has the name of the original owner written on the inside of the pocket and below the label, which is present on the inside of the jacket just below the collar. Identification flashes were worn from the upper legs, along with rank insignia. This is a Nutria short sleeve shirt. It is a later model, as it was produced in 1992, and has a characteristic square pocket of later example, where early examples have angular pockets. There is also a long sleeve shirt, which was more commonly worn, but we sadly do not have an example. This shirt was worn by soldiers serving on the border for two years. It has what soldiers called hode, which was a term to describe worn clothes which directly translates to attitude. This was an indicator of a soldier being more seasoned. The three lines on the back symbolize the three years of service the soldier served. It also has a name tag that was personally commissioned by its original owner. This is the trousers worn in combat known as pongos. It has wide belt loops to receive the white canvas belts used. It has tightening drawstrings around the waist and around both ankles to be fastened just above the boots to get the signature look that the city of troops possessed. Japonata, literally meaning fake seam, was a form of hoden stitched into the front and back seam of the pongos, usually by the soldier himself to create an imitation of wear without having to iron the seam in. It has what seems to be a first field dressing pocket, held shut by Velcro. If you know what this pocket was for, please tell us in the comments.